So picture this. You wake up one morning feeling adventurous. Instead of your usual coffee, you think, hmm, what if I take a quick trip to the sun? Just for a nanosecond. That's one billionth of a second. Sounds short, right? Like how much damage could a nanosecond possibly do? Well, mm, let's find out. Spoiler alert, it's not going to end well for you. First, let's understand what we're dealing with. The surface of the sun, also called the photosphere, has a temperature of about 5,500 degrees Celsius. That's like standing in front of a billion ovens, all set to extra crispy. And that's just the surface. Inside, it gets up to 15 million degrees. Basically, it makes lava look like chilled ice cream. But hey, you're only going for a nanosecond, so maybe you'll be fine. Right? Okay, here's what actually happens the instant you arrive. The very first thing, you vaporize. Instantly. Not even a dramatic, slow-motion burning scene. One moment you exist, the next moment... You're a cloud of atoms, in fact. You wouldn't even feel pain. Why? Because your nerves send pain signals at around 100 meters per second. In a nanosecond, the signal wouldn't even reach your brain. So, congratulations. You've officially skipped the screaming part. Now, let's break it down. In one nanosecond, light travels about 30 centimeters. That's roughly the length of a ruler. In that same time, the sun's heat would bombard you with billions of joules of energy. Imagine every nuclear bomb on Earth, but aimed directly at your face. Your body would turn into plasma. That's like the fourth state of matter, after solid, liquid, and gas. Basically, you'd become soup made of glowing particles. And remember, this is just in the first nanosecond. If you somehow tried to stay longer, like say, a full second, the sun would completely erase you from existence. Not even ashes left, just poof. Gone. Think about it this way. If Earth is like sitting in front of a campfire, standing on the sun is like putting your face inside the campfire. After the campfire has been turned into a nuclear explosion, inside a microwave, that's inside another nuclear explosion. Basically, you're toast, and not the tasty golden brown kind, the doesn't even exist anymore kind. But here's the funny part. Even though you wouldn't survive, technically, you wouldn't even know you died. Your brain wouldn't have time to process it. So, in your perspective, visiting the sun for a nanosecond is kind of... painless. Instant exit. So if someone ever asks, could you survive a nanosecond on the sun? The answer is yes, but also no. Yes, because you wouldn't feel a thing. No, because... Well, you'd literally stop existing before you could even blink. So, final verdict. Don't pack your bags for a sunny vacation on the sun. Stick to beaches, maybe get a tan. Just remember, the sun is great to look at from 150 million kilometers away, but up close? It's less vacation and more instant cremation. And hey, if you enjoyed this crazy little thought experiment and want more fun, mind-bending videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Because trust me, you don't want to miss what's coming next.